Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a tutorial for you guys. It's something I've never done before, so I'm quite excited. And it is going to be a how I curl my hair two ways. So the first way I curl my hair is using straighteners, which um, I never used to do um, until I realised one day that my curlers went with me and I only had my straighteners. So I gave it a go and I love the kind of big bouncy curls that it gave me. It was almost like having like a blow dry kind of thing. So that's the first way, and the second way is with a big fat curling wand. <laughs> so I really hope you enjoy watching this tutorial, and if you want to see how I do it, just keep on watching. So first of all, I'm going to curl my hair using the straighteners. So I'm just going to put half my hair up in this little clippy thing. So first of all, I'm just going to spray my hair with hair protectant. This is the Lee Stafford Poker Straight Flat Iron Shine, shine, shine? shine Protection Mist. I'm just going to give that a little spritz all over the hair. Being careful of the candle behind me. <laughs> just don't, I don't want to put too much in because sometimes it goes, my hair goes a bit like producty. Okay. So the straighteners that I'm using are Nikki Clark Color Prolong. I've had them for a while, so I don't really know, but they're these ones. And literally, it's fairly easy once you get the hang of curling your hair with a straightener, but it does take practice. So, I just take maybe two to three inches of hair, and then you want to clamp at the top, I really hope you can see this, flick it back around the back of the curler, and then follow the straightener the way that you've put the hair in it. And then you literally just draw it down and you'll feel the hair sort of pulling through. And then you twist like that, hold it for a couple of minutes, not minutes, well, seconds really, and then let it go. So curling with straighteners never gives me curls as such, if that makes sense. It just gives sort of like a bouncy effect, like a blow dry effect. So again, clump, pull it around the back of the straightener twist it to follow and then it's just about feeding it through. The slower you go the stronger the curl as well, I should probably point out. Um, and for some reason with my hair it doesn't hold the curl unless I twist it after. It's not really an exact science but yeah. So I'll just keep doing that till this side's done. Away, if that makes any sense. Can you guys see that? Like that. Okay, so that is that side done. I hope you guys can see that this isn't giving a ringlet curl to the hair effect, it's just giving more of a sort of bouncy blow dry effect, um, and that's generally what always happens when I straighten curl my hair. <laughs> This is getting confusing. So that's one side. I'm now going to do the other side using my curling wand. Okay, so I'm now back with the other side of my hair and I'm going to use my new curling wand, which I haven't been used twice now. I got it for Christmas. It is the Tresemme Perfectly Undone Curling Wand. So um, I did a video quite a while ago using the Perfectly Undone hair products um, and this is just basically the perfect tool to go with them. Uh, that's the box, just in case you wanted to see it. Um, so I haven't, I'm not going to be using that product now because I'm going to be using the heat protectant, but I did use the sea salt spray from the Perfectly Undone line to do my sister's hair at Christmas and it looked amazing and it really like created much more defined curls. But today I'm going to just carry on using the um, Lee Stafford Flat Iron Protection. 
So this particular curler won't create ringlety tight curls because it's perfectly undone. Um, so it's going to give sort of beachy loose waves and that is on purpose. I think you probably could make tight curls if you wanted to but generally the curler is just designed to give the sort of loose beachy waves. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. More spray first. Got to look after your hair. Okay. So again, I would probably take another, say another two to three inch section of hair. That just generally seems to work best. If you've got thinner hair, you can probably do a bigger section. And if you've got thicker hair, then do a thinner section. Okay, so this is just a basic curling iron wand. Um, so you just pop it on, and I like to flat wrap the hair around the curler rather than um, sort of spiral wrap it. So the hair sits flat against the barrel. I should really have the glove on, but I haven't. Daredevil. <laughs> and I hold it there for about 10 seconds. And then I just let it drop and sit in my hand for a little while. And then let go. Sorry if you can hear children in the background. I've just realised that I'm filming uh, around school pickup time and there's um, quite a lot of children that live in my road. So, sorry if you hear that. So you just literally keep repeating this all the way around your head, that's it. You can curl in different directions if you'd like to, that's perfectly fine and that will give a sort of more textured effect. I'll show you in a moment. I tend to just always curl backwards, I think it's just the way my hand naturally does it. It just naturally curls backwards. I better try and curl forwards now, it's just going to be stupid. <laughs> we'll give it a go anyway. Let's give a section. Okay, so I'm going to curl forward this time that way. I think. <laughs> I get so confused doing it this way. I'm really happy with this colour though. I've wanted a big like barrel for so long because I've always had the little skinny sort of spiral barrels and I've always been really disappointed with how my um, hair's turned out. So I was really excited to get this for Christmas. Plus I love this range anyway. Okay, and then the last one I'm just gonna do because it's not a big chunk left. I always curl the pieces by my face away from my face because I feel like it gives more volume and it opens up the face a lot more. I think if you curl inwards, sometimes it just looks a little bit odd. I'm not really sure why. I end up looking a bit like a Peugeot or a Spaniel. <laughs> side curled with the barrel so you can definitely see the difference between the two um, this side's got far more defined sort of almost ringlety type curls and also the curls sit higher up on my head probably because of where the barrel sits whereas the straighteners give a much more loose sort of blow dry effect to the hair so yeah I'm gonna look a little bit odd now I reckon if I brush this side out I can even it up I'm going out after this but yeah so that is how I curl my hair two ways one with a straightener and one with a traditional curling barrel I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that I explained well enough how to use straightener to curl your hair and I really look forward to seeing you in my next video take care bye